You might think you know Tales from the Crypt, but here are 12 facts you may not know about comics' most notorious horror anthology. Tales from the Crypt ran from 1950 to 1955 as a bi-monthly series created by EC Comics publisher Bill Gaines and editor Al Feldstein, which ran for a total of 27 issues. The first issue was actually Tales from the Crypt number 20. I'll explain that in a minute. EC Comics was founded in 1944 by Maxwell Gaines and originally stood for educational comics. It focused primarily on comics based on Bible stories. When Maxwell Gaines died in 1947, ownership passed to his son, William, who changed the line to focus on crime, science fiction, military, suspense, and horror comics, renaming the company Entertaining Comics and becoming one of the most popular publishers of the 1950s. When Bill Gaines and Al Feldstein discovered that they both enjoyed horror stories, they started experimenting with the genre in one of their crime books, the aptly titled Crime Patrol. Issue number 15 saw the debut of a character named the Crypt Keeper who introduced a story called Return from the Grave. Issue number 16 of Crime Patrol featured more horror stories than crime tales, and by issue number 17, the book had been retitled The Crypt of Terror. After two more issues, the title was changed once again, and with issue number 20, Tales from the Crypt was born. As Tales from the Crypt was an anthology series, the only constant figure was the host, the Crypt Keeper, who introduced each story with pun-filled commentary. The Crypt Keeper wasn't the only host, however. The Vault Keeper, host of the Vault of Horror, and the Old Witch, host of the Haunt of Fear, would also introduce stories in Tales from the Crypt, and the Crypt Keeper also appeared in their books. Occasionally, the Crypt Keeper would step out of the hosting role and into the spotlight as the star of the story himself. Such stories include The Lower Birth in issue number 33, which tells how the Crypt Keeper was born, and Horror Beneath the Streets from The Haunt of Fear number 17, which tells how the three hosts, collectively referred to as the Golunatics, got their job at EC Comics. EC Comics were known to borrow ideas and inspiration from existing works of horror fiction. Some notable Crypt stories were heavily based on tales by weird fiction writers H.P. Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe, and Arthur Mackin. After author Ray Bradbury accused the publisher of plagiarism, they reached a deal in which E.C. officially adapted some of his stories, including There Was an Old Woman in issue number 34 and The Handler in issue number 36. Following a series of Senate hearings that claimed that comic books led to juvenile delinquency, comics publishers created a self-censoring organization called the Comics Code Authority. Since the rules of the Comics Code included restrictions on using the words terror and horror, as well as the appearance of zombies, witches, werewolves, or other monsters, Tales from the Crypt was cancelled, along with most of EC's output, in 1955. In 1972, a British movie studio known as Amicus Productions produced a film version of Tales from the Crypt that adapted five stories from the EC comics, some from Crypt, and some from Vaults of Horror and Haunt of Fear. Amicus, who was known for their anthology horror films, produced a follow-up called The Vault of Horror in 1973. The best-known adaptation of Tales from the Crypt is the HBO television show that ran from 1989 to 1996, with stories all based on the comics. But there was also a cartoon that ran from 1993 to 1997, a game show that aired from 1996 to 1997, and the films Demon Knight and Bordello of Blood. In 2007, the Tales from the Crypt title was revived by independent comics publisher Paper Cuts, who brought the title back as a series of all-ages-friendly, digest-sized graphic novels, nine of which were published between 2008 and 2010. Perhaps one day soon, the Crypt Keeper will rise from the dead again. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Comics. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Comics Alliance for more comic facts, and check out comicsalliance.com for more comic awesomeness.